Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Minutes with M&M. I'm Mena, this is Miss Anne, and thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about a show that we really like and we feel like is pretty underrated considering, first of all, the budget and the amazing stars in it, but like also how really good it is. Um, so that is The Great, which is a show that is on Amazon Prime, but it's a Hulu show. So if you're in the US, you have Hulu, you can watch yeah. it. We don't have that in Canada. It's on Amazon Prime. Seriously, it's really good, guys. If you like like dark comedies, go watch it and like come back and watch our video afterwards. Um, <laughs> so there are two seasons out. Season three is coming out later this year, and we would love to just talk about the first two seasons, what we loved, what we hated, but actually that's a lie. We're really focusing on Peter and Catherine. And their love story. <sighs> Look, is he a terrible, horrible man? Yes, yes. Are they not the most romantic thing ever? Awesome. Exactly. <laughs> he commits war crimes, but I'm rooting for their love. So let's let's dive into that. <laughs> yeah. Where do we begin? I think from the beginning. Um, just meeting Peter. Yeah, I was like, this is a horrible, horrible person. But then I didn't hate him. <laughs> I was like, I don't hate you because some of the things you say it do be making sense. <laughs> that person but he did look at you sideways like and he should know better because you're the king exactly <laughs> <laughs> no on a very serious note i'm not even gonna lie pretty privilege is so real nicholas holt is amazing and he plays king peter and can i really ever hit him in anything he does i hit him in the menu in the menu i was entertained i thought he was funny fair but no he was not a good person but in the great you know so the show starts off with catherine being sent over from her family's country to come and marry the king of Russia and you know, rise up in status. So she goes- They call them emperor. Sorry, the emperor, my bad. She meets Peter and she has all these expectations. She's like, we're gonna be in love. We're gonna, you know, rule Russia together. We're gonna have amazing, beautiful lovemaking sessions. And Peter's like, none of that. He's <laughs> like horrible and boorish and sleeping with 10,000 other women. And even when he's sleeping with her, it's not good. Yeah. My girl was disappointed. So um, it's, it's very much a quick reality check for her. And mm -hmm. obviously she's the protagonist. We see things through her lens. And even though she's living back in the past, she's pretty progressive, you know, she doesn't want slaves. She thinks people should worship whatever faith they want. Like we're rooting for Catherine. We want her to succeed. Also it's a fictionalized and heavy on the fiction uh, <laughs> version of the story of Catherine the Great of Russia. So there's some aspects that are kind of true-ish, but generally don't watch the show thinking it's gonna tell you anything that's true. Yeah, I mean, I love the show so much because it is so brilliantly written. This show took me on a whole lot of emotions <laughs> and I have come to that level of acceptance where I know that I'm rooting for a war criminal. Yeah. And I'm fine with it. You know, like, I, 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 I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm there yet. I, I think I'm so close, but it, it helps that he's really funny. And like, it's not okay to kill people, but you're kind of funny when you do it. Yeah, because like in the first season, I was like fully, okay, they need to like overthrow this guy. He needs to be killed. I was feeling like, okay, Catherine, stab it now. <laughs> but then, like, in the second season, I was like, but wait, <laughs> but then he saw you crying. And then, <laughs> no, okay, so there's a scene. Okay, so let's just start with this. This this pairing is absolutely enemies to lover. There's no other reason to describe. I didn't know that that's my, you know, I, that you know. That's your shit right there. They got me, they got me good. <laughs> So literally they're at odds with each other. Catherine is trying to take him down and kill him and become empress. And he is trying to stop her from that happening, but he's kind of way chiller than she is. Yeah, he's like, eh, I don't really want to rule. And he's like, wow, you're so pretty while trying to kill me. It's like, I admire you so much, you're so fierce. And she's like, I have a knife <laughs> right now. <laughs> So obviously they're married, so they are married to each other and they have different goals. And the first season is kind of her conspiring behind his back to try and make that happen and him just kind of like la di da, you know, we're gonna get into specifics in a moment. But in the second season, the scene that you're referring to is, you know, she's trying to change things. She gives the servants a chance to have power and basically there's war in the courts. And she's like so upset that like trying to give people freedom is leading to people dying. Anyway, Peter comes in to come kill her because you know, that's what they do. That's their dynamic. <laughs> and then, you know, she turns around and she's crying and he sees her crying and he puts down the knife and he hugs her. Ha <laughs> ha 
because he was coming to kill her <laughs> but he loves her so much <laughs> no because like he literally love bombed her for a long time so she actually loved him back mm -hmm. and i know that i i'm hearing the words <laughs> that are coming out of my mouth right now but it's so romantic <laughs> No, you're totally right. Because Catherine had a good head on her shoulders and she realized that he was horrible and he was she was like, I don't like him. But he just kept doing things and she's like, I don't know why I'm smiling at you right now. I don't know. And I'm sorry for the sex scenes. I'm screwing. It's, it does it, it does it for me. It I'm does it. I, I, I can't. The chemistry is a lot. And everyone around them is just like, what's wrong with you? Kill him. I was like, what's wrong with you? Kill her. And they're like, but no. <laughs> I just no. <laughs> And it's, it's really funny on her end because from his end, they're often kind of like, he's making the wrong decisions, but everybody expects so little from Peter. Let's yeah. be clear. They're like, you know what you're thinking with your dick, whatever. But on her end, like she's smart and her people, so Orlo, the lament of um, Maria. Yeah. Maria, then Elizabeth. Yeah. Like everyone on her, well, not Elizabeth because Elizabeth loves her nephew. Um, yeah, but she's still kind of on her side. Oh yeah, she's on her side. But I mean like the people around her are looking at her and going, what do you mean you love him? Like, how can you love him? <laughs> Remember when? Valimento was sleeping and then he opened his eyes and he saw them like walking through the hallways hand in hand and then he came the next day and he told them how he had this weird dream about <laughs> but it wasn't the truth it was like it was the truth look the thing is Elle Fanning and um, Nicholas have fantastic chemistry fantastic I'm, just, I'm like be together now you know, you know that meme now kiss that was, <laughs> that's how I do every time they're together also even though he's terrible, he really does want what's best for her. He he just can't help certain things. And so let's let's talk about some of the things that he's done to her or so done. He he killed her lover, Leo, and that hurt me so bad. Oh my god. Now that I'm hearing it, I just I'm so ashamed of myself for rooting for this relationship. But like what he did was horrible. So she was very, very unhappy and he was like, Okay, I'm gonna give to you someone you know who you can sleep with and you know keep your company and you can have your fantasy and i can come in and you know have sex with you and like you know do my ritual and then go back to my life and at first she was like no 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 this is wrong but then she finds out that they really have a lot in common and like leo was the sweetest and like he was i think she he, leo was the first person that really gave her that like fantastic sex she was looking for like she had been reading you know, all those books and like that fantastic love story and she really loved him deeply and like and he loved her and yeah. he wasn't a war criminal like you know they would have conversations and they would plan about the new restaurant that she wanted like they were so happy together and we i cannot stress this enough peter is the one that brought leo it wasn't like she was like i want to have sex with someone he unprovoked was like this will be your sex slave and as we describe peter i see how terrible he sounds but Leo was so sweet. And I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I knew obviously like I knew he was gonna end up dying. I, I didn't I thought maybe he would run away or something. I yeah, I I, I just knew that they wouldn't be together. Yeah. But I was hoping to not have to see it so soon. It was awful. Like so, you know, they made her pick, you know, do you pick your country, Russia, or do you pick your lover, Leo? And like the bad bitch she is. She picked Russia because she's an empress and she's not going to step down for any man. I would have run away with Leo. Look, she's Catherine the Great and she has seen what she's going to do for Russia. She didn't know that she was going to become Catherine she, the she Great. She felt in her bones. And that's the thing, like, I know that there's certain characters like this in real life, but like, isn't that very strange to me? <laughs> People who just come into this world and they know their purpose and they just that's crazy. pursue it. Like, they just like, this is what I'm meant to do and then they do it. Like, mm -hmm. maybe we all need to come with that attitude for everyone to be great at the same time. I don't maybe, know. Maybe. But Catherine picked her country over her man and it was so sad because for real, for real, Peter had this man killed. Like, it wasn't even like a joke. Like, oh, he killed him. And worse off, like, later in the second season, this man really gave her his head as like, 
a nice thing. She's like, oh, here's his head. What? What is your problem? He is so, oh my God, he's so awful. Some other things that he did in no particular order, he burnt down the school she was going to put up for girls because he didn't think girls should go to school. He didn't even start with, no, don't do it. He went all the way to, I'm burning down your dreams and hopes. He locked her in a basket and threw her into the ocean or the river. <laughs> oh my God. He, she almost died. He, and he flew it just like, just so you know, I'm in charge here. Don't be here thinking you can do things. Mm -hmm. Super terrible. Um, I'm gonna jump to an extremely egregious thing he did in season two. Yes, so. <laughs> It's not he really made, his fault. He made a mistake. It's one mistake. I'm just gonna start off with he's human. <laughs> he's flawed. <laughs> and you know, like things happen. So he sleeps with Catherine's mom. But wait, sense. Let's just make it clear that Catherine's mom actively pursued him. He kept saying no. And she was like, no, sleep with me. He he tried really hard. He tried his best. And, and at the end of the day. He just had to give in to get her off his back and they decided to do it by the window and then she falls through the window to her death so he did fuck her mom to death <laughs> literally but he didn't mean to yeah and i think that's very important that's i think very we should, important. And it sounds insane but he did so many horrible things on purpose that when he does horrible things on accident i think we should like you know Wait, that's way. Exactly. And you know, he, in his own way, in his broken, messed up way, he tries to do things to make her happy. For, like, so they had a science competition and he stole another country's project to try and help Russia win. And he did it because he thought it would make her happy. And it did. It, exactly. Was it wrong to kill someone to steal their science project? Yes. Yes. It was wrong. <laughs> but he did it for love. And I think the biggest like thing is probably that up until her mom, he was generally uninterested in having sex with other women. Yeah. Which is like, it's not so silly, but he was really like just walking around the like palace, hooking up with anything that moves. He was just ridiculous. But like, all he wanted was his wife, Catherine. That's, that's who made him happy. That's who... Even when she locked him in a prison, in his own castle, he was just like, eh. Just tell me when you want to come and see me and I'll be here. <laughs> no, no, it's actually so cute. Like he's out on like parole or he's working. He's like, oh, hey, love, how are you doing? He's like, you're actually my prisoner and you shouldn't be talking to me like we're friends. But he loves her. And I think the biggest like display of his love was at the end of the second season where he had the chance to run away. So they have their son, by the way, um, Paul. He had the option to run away with Paul. You know, he wouldn't have to kill her. She wouldn't have to kill him, you know. But he didn't want to take away her baby from her or, you know, the baby's mom from Paul. And yeah. also, you know, he didn't really want to leave her. Let's not even worry yeah. about it. So he came back knowing that it's putting himself at risk because he wants to be with his wife. And that, my dear friends, is true love. And look, she might act like she's above it, but Catherine loves Peter. She does. Because after hearing that you fucked my mom or, you know, that scenario, she's still trying to see in her head how she can make this work. Yeah, she keeps slapping herself like this. <laughs> She gives herself like dirty slaps because she's like, remember what he did. Remember Leo. And it's so great because we see that she she makes herself do what she doesn't want to do. She stabs him. Like she goes to kill him, um, who she thinks is him. And then, spoiler alert, this is the last episode of the second season. Like if you've been listening this far, you've heard all the spoilers. Um, but basically she stabs his double, but she doesn't know that. So she stabs him. He's dead. And she's like, oh my God. And she's crying. She's like heartbroken at the idea that she killed him but can we just say shout out to her for actually going through with it because that was hard yes and then she realizes it's not him because peter shows up behind her and that is kind of this awkward womp womp i just tried to kill you but i didn't haha <laughs> but i just think we, we need to recognize that there is something about one another that brings them together yeah. it's Bridgerton reference they burn for each other they do and it, it's cute. It's so cute. And I, I just don't want it to be ruined. I want it to keep growing. <laughs> I just... I, I don't even know what to hope for. So in the first season, I think Tagline used to say something like, this is based on mostly real events or something like that. And then the second season, they were just like straight up, this is fiction. Nothing here really happened. So I'm wondering if they're going to subvert reality. So I believe, writers, please don't kill him. <laughs> just, there's a way they can be together. There's a way they can live till old age together raising Paul and any other kids that they have happily coexisting. He's such a 
cute dad to Paul. He like he's so like. <sighs> oh, and that's another. Thing. He, I'm not saying that excuses him, but he has so much trauma from his parents. It's not his fault. It's not. Like he wasn't raised like a normal person was. His mom was horrible. Horrible, because she killed her nephew. Oh my god, that was. Oh my god. Oh, that was so sad. That was horrible. And like he had to keep that secret for his whole life from his exactly. favorite aunt. That I know how your son died for real, for real. Like his dad also sucks, and there's a lot of you know pressure. You know Peter the Great. Like there's just there's a lot for him to live up to, and he's also surrounded by like not great people. Mm -hmm. So for example, we have Archie, and in the first season, it's very clear that Archie has been manipulating things for his own good. So he'll yeah. say, "God told us that we should go to war," or "God God said that we should make these rules," and he's just been telling Peter these things, and Peter is an idiot who does them. But like. With that kind of surrounding, you know, we have his best friend, there's Gregor, his best friend, there's George, Georgie that he's sleeping with. They're also trying to get him to do the things that they want. I just, yeah, maybe, everybody wants something from him. Yeah, maybe if he had better friends, he wouldn't be such a terrible person. Mm -hmm. But no, they have, they're so funny. Yeah. And they, they get along so well. The show is absolutely a comedy. There are definitely heavier moments. There are, there are moments where I'm just like, oh, emotionally gutted yeah can't believe that i'm going through this but overall it's really really yeah, good and it's like i just laugh out loud <laughs> so many times because i just whoever is writing this show is not normal <laughs> but it's, he's not he or she's not normal in the best of ways absolutely and i love it so much there was one scene where like i think they went to negotiate with like sweden <laughs> and they went with like velmentov and peter was just talking shit to Velimentov and then Velimentov <laughs> slapped him and then Peter has this like face like he's so astonished he's like how dare you slap an emperor and then Velimentov is like sorry a mosquito <laughs> was on your face I didn't want you to suck your royal blood <laughs> and like it's the fact that everybody believes that they're like okay okay let's move on and it's like so many moments happen in that show where I'm just like you can tell that everybody's everybody's so upset at him but like if you tell him something that kind of makes sense he just lets it go he's like well that tracks let's move on <laughs> no the show is <clears throat> it's a comedy before everything else genuinely I, and they put it in the most random scenes like arlo is a pacifist and they have him in a situation where he's like he doesn't want to fight the soldiers she's like no no we don't have to fight and they're trying to kill him so now he has to kill them and he's like as i'm describing this it doesn't sound funny but it's so funny <laughs> Up for laughing, <laughs> you have to watch the show because, like, yes, just see how we're cracking up right now. Just talking about, I feel like we've been laughing this entire video and because the show is so good, it's so you so need to watch good. the show. No, like, if you're looking for something new to watch, it's not too long, it's like 10 episodes a season, so it'll take you what a day to watch both um, seasons if you want to. Um, well written, beautiful to look at, like, the color is like it's always popping, cinematography is great, like. You know, and storylines to root for. Like, there's okay, I won't say the couple, but there's a couple that's together that I didn't see coming, and I'm like, oh wow, this shit kind of slaps. Mm -hmm. So, look, y'all should give it a chance. Season three is coming out this year. Lots of big names in it. So we said Elle Fanning, Nicholas Holt, um, Gillian Anderson. Yes, Gillian Anderson. Yeah. Like they, they put money into this and I yeah. feel like they should be promoting it more. But if you are a fan of the show and you already watch it, let us know. Do you think that Catherine and Peter should be together? If you don't, you know what? You don't need to let us why. We get it. Like they probably shouldn't be together. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts of the show. What did you like? What did you not like? What are you hoping to see next season? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it and can't wait to see you again next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.